little yearling named Siren ended up in a frozen creek and got stuck. We are just worrying about how much time do we have before it's too late. To get her out, we had to use some West Virginia ingenuity. Our volunteer, Valerie, sat there with her, covered her to get her dry and get her warm. She was going to do whatever it takes. Everybody was so hopeful, but I wanted to be realistic. She's now been in a creek and she has hypothermia, but she wanted out. She wanted another chance. You want to, you can graze if you want, if you think you want to bite. And so we thought, well, we're going to give it a go with you, too. The owner said he needed to surrender. Siren, Valerie was like, you know, I'd like to foster. And I was like, perfect. <laughs> when she first arrived, she was very shut down and guarded. Come on. The first day was just so she can kind of get assessed in her new surroundings. See, if she'd even let me touch her. You get a little frustrated with horse progress sometimes. It's a constant test of patience, and I wanted it to be a positive thing from day one. Slowly and surely, she's coming around. I want her to see that this is safe, learn, experience. Yeah, that's my baby. My goal for Siren is to make her extremely friendly, able to be handled by people, and adoptable so that she can find a home. It just took spending an exuberant amount of time just around each other for her to finally be like, oh, this is an okay human. Maybe I should check her out. And it took about a month for her to finally like being touched. <laughs> I just want to give her an overall set of tools to make her entire life easier. This is the mom. Do we have to be done? Halter training is for Siren. I feel comfortable enough to trust humans. You know what this is. You need this. Come on. Think about it. Come on. Oh, so close. If she learns how to navigate her halter and her neck rope, it should make that a much more pleasant experience for her. She's not going to get to go outside until she puts her halter on. Maybe she'll do better with the other halter. Come on. Hey. <laughs> Good girl. She's sweet girl. Yeah. Let's go walk. Horsey. I'd like to think of it like a video game. She gets to unlock new levels as she progresses. Siren's next big step will be riding, which was a little bit difficult. Come on. It's not gonna hurt you. I wanted Siren to associate riding as a positive thing, so I began placing her saddle on her while she was eating. Good girl. You Now you can get on her anytime, any place. Right, head up, let's go walk. Good girl, we'll walk. Back up. Back up. Good girl. Eat your grass. You can eat it. When she gets adopted, it's going to be really difficult for me. But if I can do what I did for another horse and make another unadoptable horse adoptable and give it a chance at a new lease on life, that's my role. We've received this adoption application from Alexis. She has kids. She has a professional trainer involved. And she has a beautiful facility. So it just looks like the exact home we envisioned for Siren from the time we rescued her. Hi, you. I really am truly happy for both Siren and Alexis that they found each other. Oh my girl.
And I'm really looking forward to following all the adventures they have together. Baby Sai, the good girl. When we first found Siren, she was just this little skeleton, but she kept fighting. Once she recovered, it was easy to see. She was a sassy little horse. That's really what got her through. I hope Siren has the very best life possible. She more than deserves it. She was bull riding. 